for the first time, France ventured outside Paris to host a NatWest Six Nations game as Stade Velodrome in Marseille played host to France-Italy with both sides seeking a first win of this campaign. French coach Jacques Brunel made five changes to his starting 15 with eight players dropped after inappropriate behaviour following the defeat to Scotland two weeks ago. And France, in the white strip, were on fire from the early stages. Straight onto the attack, and with five minutes gone, they chalked up their first try. It may not have been a thing of beauty, but the brute force of the French drive towards the line, along with a bit of guile from Paul Gabrielleg, saw him pick his spot and cleverly ground the ball to give France a five-point advantage. His first try for France on his fifth appearance. Maxime Machineau was off target with the conversion attempt, but a good start for Les Bleus. However, the lead was short-lived. The Italians used the power of the pack to good effect just short of the 10-minute mark. The mall was moving at pace and France were struggling to halt its progress. Initially, it looked like Italy were over for the try, but the TMO first checked to see if the ball was grounded. It looked like Maxime Mbanda had been held up, but the officials then agreed that the mall had been collapsed and referee Wayne Barnes awarded a penalty try. Italy, 7-5 ahead. Okay, okay, Guillaume, um, rolling moors going, a lot of momentum, clear collapse, we just can't identify the number, so it's a penalty try, but I can't see the card. On 29 minutes, a Machineau penalty put France eight points to seven ahead, and just before half-time, another Machineau kick extended France's lead to 11-7 at the interval, the French dominating possession, but Italy still within one score at the break. A couple of minutes after the restart, France had a glorious opportunity to extend their lead. A beautiful move saw quick hands from Camara and Bastelot before Boxis broke the Italian line. With teammates outside, the pass from the out-half didn't find his man and the chance was gone. Albeit a little unlucky that Benvenuti touched the ball, unseen by the officials. It was 14-7 when another Machineau penalty found the target soon after. Then on 50 minutes, a Tommy Allen penalty brought it back to 14-10. Conor O'Shea's men were very much in the contest with half an hour to play. Midway through the second half, the French produced a moment of magic and Bastereau was once again at the heart of it. He burst through a couple of tacklers before offloading to Hugo Bonneval. The fullback combined with Remy Grosso before racing clear for France's second try of the night. Imagination and invention had been in short supply, but this moment lifted the Marseille crowd. A great finish from the Toulon number 15. Machineau converted, and Brunel's men were 21 points to 10 ahead with a quarter of the match remaining. French number nine added two more penalties for 27 points to 10. And in the 73rd minute, they made sure of the victory in some style. Marco Tulane was at the heart of the move, skipping past some tiring Italian defenders and retaining his composure before picking a pass to Grosso. The French kept it alive, and Tulane featured again as the Italians scrambled to hold them out. When it eventually came to Bastereau, the Toulon centre wasn't going to be stopped using his bulk and power to drive over the line for a third try. Bastereau marking his return to the side with a top-class performance and a try to round it off. When it was converted, the French led 34 points to 10. But not for the first time in this season's NatWest Six Nations, the Italians showed good heart and refused to give up. Substitute Jaden Hayward showed good speed to race clear of the scrambling French defenders. And the ball broke off a French player and sat up for Matteo Minozzi to scamper over the line for the score. A fine try from the Azzurri, with the fresh legs of Hayward playing a big part before Minozzi profited at the end. Carlo Canna converted to bring the score back to 34 points to 17. And despite a late push by France to secure a fourth try and a bonus point, which drew a yellow card for Luca Bigi right at the death, the visitors held them out 
And as the final whistle blew, France could at least celebrate the end of an eight-match run without a victory and a first success since Jacques Brunel took charge. It's a 15th consecutive championship loss for Italy, who travel to Wales next time. France return to Paris to host England. Final score in Marseille, France 34, Italy 17.